large peonies, and I will find this name for you. Manasian. I want to put it George Manasian. Well, the first bald guy on stage. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I've had this condition called alopecia areata, and I was bullied for it, you know, through elementary school and middle school. And before you go feeling all bad for me, uh, there's a good side to it. Uh, I've never gotten sick in my life. Um, I've successfully got this image uh, put onto me. I was sitting in the park one day, and I was just relaxing, you know. I was just sitting there, lying down, closing my eyes, and I, I didn't realize a tree branch had fallen onto my lap. After a couple of minutes, I woke up, I see this tree branch on my lap, I look across me to see a couple of terrified kids, and all I can hear is, I know it's happening, I know it's happening. I was like, what's going on here? Um, I pick up the branch, and then he's like, he's gonna curse us, he's gonna curse us, right? Apparently, they thought I was Lord Voldemort, because I said, it's Voldemort, it's my right. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Um, I've had this image put on me, and, um, they, I, I bet they were probably wondering, I wonder if he's spreading your horcruxes. I see. <laughs> um, aside from that, uh, are there any Armenians in the house? <laughs> I see my whole family is here. <laughs> uh, how many people know about Armenia? Let me make an easier question. Who knows the Kardashians? <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm a very proud Armenian. Very, very proud Armenian. And um, there's just things about us that other people may find strange. And people don't know about it until they really know us. Uh, Armenia, way back when, thousands of years ago, used to be a huge country. And then it happened. A piece of quarter of us went there, a quarter of us went there, someone took a piece from over there. Before we know it, you need a microscope to find us on the globe. Um, in all of that, getting land taken away, we lost a mountain. How the fuck do you lose a mountain? How do you lose a mountain? And when we tell this story to other people, uh, we perceive it in a different way than most people would understand. Uh, the way it really happened was, okay, we're coming into your country, and we're taking this. Fine. Okay. The way we try to perceive it when we tell the story is, Thanks for the mountain. <laughs> and we're just standing there, no problem, take care of it. <laughs> and when we lose something of value to us, you go and you're supposed to run after it, you're supposed to fight for it, get back what you want. Oh, no, 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 that's not what we do. We take a painting of the mountain, we put it in our garage, and we say, there you go, now you can uh, enjoy it from your garage. <laughs> Another thing about Armenian people is we think we're such handymen. We think we can solve any problem that's put in front of us. There's an air conditioning problem. Let's call a professor. No, 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 no. Call my uncle. <laughs> and we'll get a couple of other Armenians too. Come on, bring them over here. Anyone with an I in their last name? Bring them in. Bring them in. <laughs> and we won't do it professionally. We won't say, okay, we need this, we need this, we need that. You'll have one guy trying to put in the air conditioner, and you'll have another Armenian guy on the bottom floor. It's okay! If it falls, I catch it! It's okay! Don't worry, I'm down here. <laughs> oh my god. Dating, another thing. Uh, marriage is a huge thing in the Armenian community. Um, I actually brought home uh, an Italian girl uh, a week ago and to meet my family. And, uh, she was really nice, she was very friendly, I met her parents, very nice people, so I brought her to my house for dinner, and my grandmother sees her. She goes, oh, hello, how are you today? George, can I talk with you? <laughs> she brings me to the back. Is she Armenian? <laughs> I'll say, no, Grandma, you know, she's a nice Italian, you know, very nice person. I, I, I think she really likes me. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? No. What, what, Grandma? You're going to love her. You're going to marry her. 
You're gonna pack your bags, and I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> Look at your uncle. He married a non-Armenian. He's already dug my grave halfway. <laughs> it's up to you to finish the job now. <laughs> what? It's it. Don't let me talk here. Congratulations. And that will leave me feeling like shit. It's like, I don't want to be responsible for that. What's up with that? <laughs> Another thing I've always found strange about the Armenian people is we'll be talking on the phone, but we'll be doing hand signals as we're talking on the phone. It's not like the other person on the line can see what you're doing. It's like, I, I've always wondered. It's like, my family, my dad will be talking on the phone and he'll be doing the finger roll over the phone. Why are you doing that? And then I tried putting it together in my head. I wondered, well, maybe if Armenia is so small, I guess the person on the other side of the line can actually see you waving or doing whatever hand signal you're doing. <laughs> That's it for me.